Welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian with uh, Reverend Jimmy Ray. What are we going to learn about Praise today, Jesus. Reverend? Praise the Lord. I, I've been so excited about this episode. Daniel has been growing as a Christian. Praise Jesus. Good. Now you, you understand that we need to be thanking God for everything. So Daniel got born again, and I got him water baptized the other day. We got you in the waters. And last episode, you saw me lay hands on Daniel, and he received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And now you're a Holy Ghost-filled Christian. Now, Daniel, have you been praying in tongues and praying to Jesus every day? Oh, yes. I mean, it, it, it is wonderful. Uh, I now feel the, the light of God in me Praise God. all Good. the time. Praise uh, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Now, today we're going to go a little further, and we're going to talk about Bible study. Got to read the Bible. Now, the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from God's mouth. So, the Word of God is the Bible. Today we're going to use the Bible, and I'm going to teach you the importance of using the Bible. I brought my notes today, because preachers like me get off track sometimes. Okay. So, let's understand something. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, one day you'll get to read this. It says, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. In other words, this whole Bible, God wrote it. Wow. Yes. So it says, the Bible says that everything in the Bible is from God. Everything here from Genesis chapter 1 all the way to the end of Revelation is God's Word written for us. That sounds like a, wow, what a, what a resource. That's amazing. Yes. And when you read it every day, it, you'll learn God's mind and you'll learn how to obey Him. Okay. In fact, God said it, and this is something I like to tell people. I say, God said it, it's in the Bible, I believe it, and that settles it. It don't matter how many of them there atheists are out there the way you used to be. The people that are smart, wow. they use the brain. Now you just got to believe what the Bible says by faith. Well, that sounds, that sounds great because, I mean, it is kind of difficult being a Christian because, I mean, you know, there's a... Uh, a thin line that you have to walk, right? Well, no. It's pure faith in Christ. His ways, the Bible says, are above our ways, as the heavens are above the earth. In other words, if it don't make sense to the natural mind, your brain, it's of God. Because oh. His ways are above ours. So when you read the Bible, Daniel, every day, some things are not going to make sense to you. Like Jesus walking on the water. You're going to think, huh, that's crazy. But I always know that everything is going to be okay if I have that, right? Yes. Okay. That's having faith, putting your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ wow. in the Bible. Now, let's go on quickly because I don't want to lose my friends out there's attention. In the book of James in the New Testament, it says, Be doers of the word of God, the Bible, and not hearers only. So we got to learn the Bible, it's God's Word, and then you got to learn to obey it. Because Jesus said, if you love me, you're going to keep my Word and my commandments. Yeah. Daniel, do you love Jesus? Uh, of course. So you got to learn what this says, and then you got to obey it. Okay. So these are like Jesus' terms, kind of. Yes. You have surrendered your life to Christ. You don't belong to yourself anymore. You are now a slave of God. Wow. Yeah, and, and that just makes it easy for me because I just follow the Bible yes. and then I know that I'm going to be okay. Yes, it's like that. It's so easy. Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. That's an old song we used to sing in church when I was a little boy. Just trust him, trust his word, his Bible, and obey him. It's an easy way to live. You what don't have to think. You let God do the thinking through the Bible. Well, what else does it say? Well, there's a lot of things the Bible says. i got to stay on track here because I'll get off track here. i got to look at my notes. So, what I'd like you to do, Daniel, is every day after you pray, I want you to take the Bible and read like two or three chapters in the Bible every day. Okay. And as you read it, ask Jesus 
to help you to understand what it means. Now, the first book of the Bible is Genesis. Have you ever heard of the book of Genesis? No. It means in the beginning. Okay. So what I want you to do, Daniel, I want you to look. This is Genesis chapter 1. Okay. I want you to read the first couple verses of that. This is like God talking to you, your heavenly daddy. Go ahead and read. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the water. Okay, let's stop right there. So now I ask Jesus to tell me what this means. If you don't understand, do you understand what that means? What you've read so far. In the beginning, God. Well, what's the beginning? The beginning was God's always been there all the time, and he started everything because he's always been, but he started the universe. Now, these smart guys, they think they know everything, you know, the way you used to think. Yeah. These scientists and physicists and cosmologists, they say there was a big bang. I don't believe in that. It says right here in the Bible, God, in the beginning, created what? What did you say, Daniel? The heavens and the earth. He created it. Yeah. That's it. you got to take it by faith. Yeah, well, well, but Jesus is in my heart. Yes, so, he is. And this is his book. Yes. So, what else is there? That's it. All you need is God. All you need to do is stay close to Jesus okay. and read his Bible every day and pray. Wow. Well, thanks very much, Reverend. Can I say one more thing? Sure. I want you to pray every day. I want you to read two or three chapters in the Old Testament and two or three chapters in the New Testament, starting in the book of Matthew. Oh, oh okay. And I'll explain that some other time. And be, be prepared to always ask the Lord to show you what these scriptures mean, because some people mock it. <laughs> they should mock it, because it's true. It's God's word. you got to believe it. Well, Jesus will always explain it to me, right? Yes, he will. Because he loves you. Wow. I mean, I can't believe all of the the things I can do as a Christian now. Because I can just ask God to tell me what this means. And then I know oh, yes. what to do. It's just glorious. It's a wonderful life. The Bible says, and I know we got to close. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. Don't even lean on this. Lean on the Bible and well, prayer. Well, thanks so much for, for you know taking the time out to explain this all to me Praise and my God. audience. Because you are you're so knowledgeable in these matters. Well, you know. You know. And thank, I give God the glory, not me. The glory goes to God. And thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you will continue to join us as we grow as Christians. Praise Jesus.